Greetings and welcome to uh, today's episode of Expert TV. Today's topic is uh, successfully managing an outsourcing relationship in an Internet of Things world. I'm joined today by uh, James Smack. James is an executive with Cisco. And James, thanks for taking the time today. Thank you, Frank. I'm really looking forward to this conversation. Super. Well, you guys were good enough to do some research with us in recent months, and the findings were interesting, and we'll, uh, we'll get down to that. In fact, I have a, a copy of the research right here to refer to. But let's start with the, the broader topic. You know, when I, when I think about outsourcing relationship management, that topic has been of interest to our members for a good uh, 15, 20 years. Um, so what's new? What's different? Is, uh, are you finding that it's more difficult uh, these days? What's, what's been your experience? You know, Frank, um, you, you've been kind of the champion of outsourcing for, for many years. And outsourcing relationships and organizations has been growing you know, every year. But I think we're about to hit an inflection point that we haven't anticipated before. That inflection point will be the fact that there will be more Internet-connected devices in the world than there are people in the world. And in fact, there's going to be 10 internet connected devices for every human being on the planet soon. With all that technology, you can only anticipate that the amount of support, the amount of service that's going to be necessary is going to skyrocket. And we anticipate that the number of outsourcing relationships that will drive will be incredible. And so we're expecting to see a, an exponential increase and I think the demand for outsourcing and quality outsourcing is going to go off the charts to a level we have not seen to date. And especially in the IT arena and the technology arena, it's going to be far greater than what we anticipate today. So, you know, that's a good point. And I agree, by the way. You think back, uh, James, if you think back 15, 20 years ago when someone would outsource a data center and um, they'd be wrestling with those challenges, and there were challenges back then, and compare and contrast that today with you know, bring your own device and all these, you know, this digital world, right? So uh, that starts to look easy back then um, as, as compared to today. So, uh, you know, that makes, that makes total sense. You know, in, in skimming through uh, some of your materials, Jim, and even and just skimming through the, uh, the research, uh, you know, when I think of the term connected, that, is, that term is somewhat of a, of a mantra, if you will, uh, for Cisco. You quite often refer to the importance of, of, of buyers being connected to the provider, provider being connected to the, to the buyer. Could, could, you, uh, could you expand on that? What, what, what do you mean by being connected and why do you see it as so important? Well, great. I, Frank, this, this is probably one area where I think the survey that you conducted brought some incredible light to this topic of, of what's going on with these outsourcing relationships in the IT arena. If you are an enterprise company and you have relationships with an outsourcer that's helping you with your help desk and helping you solve trouble tickets with your desktop computers or your printers or your copiers or your cell phones, whatever that is, you're outsourcing that to a, to a third party. Well, you could do that the old-fashioned way of emails or phone calls, uh, or you could connect those systems together and actually make that communication direct. What we found from that survey is where that connection exists between the enterprise customer and the outsourced technology provider, the relationship is actually improved fairly dramatically to the point where the outsourced vendors recommended by the enterprise customer substantially more often. And in fact, they maintain those contracts in, in a far greater number of cases instead of switching vendor to vendor to vendor looking for somebody where that connection is, is made between their systems, it dramatically impacts that relationship. We think that is the key to the future where we're going to see far more connections between the internal help desk at an enterprise company to the help desk at your outsource provider and from that outsource provider to the vendor. So you might have a connection between a vendor who provides your hardware in your office to your service provider back to your enterprise. All those systems connected together makes a dramatic improvement in customer satisfaction, in mean time to resolve, and frankly, in the quality of that relationship to the point where that relationship for the vendor is much more sticky. For the service provider, it's much more sticky. People are hesitant to break that relationship when it's working so well. So we think that connection has a financial impact and it has a quality of service impact and a customer satisfaction impact. And the survey reveals all that. It was really very insightful. 
No, it's interesting. As I hear you say that, I think back to one of the first panels we had, my goodness, uh, had to be 15, 16 years ago, uh, with the focus being on governance and relationship management. I remember one of the advisors on that panel talking to the fact that uh, you cannot over-communicate uh, when it comes to an outsourcing relationship. And you know, back then, he was referring more to meetings and phone calls and, uh, and things along those lines. And, and I think you and I can agree that's still important, but, but, uh, but, but leveraging technology, ideally in the form of some sort of a platform, if you will, um, to allow for more real-time interactive uh, uh, communication, right? Perpetual, ongoing, real-time, as, uh, as I know you guys do uh, with your platform. My sense is you make it easier for that real-time uh, uh, communication. Is that, is that a fair assessment? Absolutely. Anytime you improve the speed of communication, the quality of communication, you absolutely reduce the time it takes to resolve a problem. And we believe that by connecting those computer systems together, you eliminate someone retyping information, you eliminate phone calls where there could be miscommunication, and now you can transmit you know, images, pictures, log files. So much of that can be immediately transferred it's substantially better and it gives you a case history. So we believe this is going to just dramatically improve communications. And to your point, the better the quality of the data, the better the communication, the more regular the communication, the better that relationship is. And I think ultimately we're going to find that not only in the IT arena but in other areas of business, that kind of communication between companies and systems is going to be critical. And James, with the few minutes we have uh, remaining, we have about 74,000 members globally, uh, and about half of them are IT, but the other half are not IT. So what do you see as far as opportunities uh, within this, you know, this world of, let's say, connected relationships, with, if you will, you know, beyond IT help desk? That's, I'm glad you brought that up. That, to me, as we've been talking to the members, as we've been surveying and, and, and getting more information, we've learned very quickly that while IT is important and having that communication for break fix is it critical, other areas of the business could benefit as well. You could have you know, real estate, you could have uh, anything to do with your facilities be connected. Today, very few companies have the ability to escalate to an electrician, to HVAC, to plumbing, to cubicle moves. Any number of those outsourced vendors that you need to communicate with if you had that same connected capability there, you could dramatically improve the performance and results and, and really the customer satisfaction, whether it's internal customers or external. You could dramatically impact that if you were connected beyond just IT, but the entire facilities or real estate management space. We believe as you look at what it takes to run a business today, we're outsourcing in, in a fairly significant way now. Uh, the number of outsourced relationships per enterprise is growing every year, and we believe that being connected is going to be critical going forward to maintain a competitive advantage. Great. So, James, thank you. This is a, it's a timely topic, clearly a win-win both for the, for the buy side, if you will, and for the sell side. And uh, we know both, and they're both struggling. Uh, so uh, we appreciate your insight here. Thank you for taking the time, and thank you also for supporting that research. Our members have uh, uh, welcomed it, and they continue to benefit from it. Thanks again. Thank you, Frank. Frank.